what is good everyone welcome back to the retro world guys in today's video i'm hanging out with the homie jack and we are in jacksonville florida and we're going to the flea market and it's not too often that you go to a flea market where the majority of the vendors end up having the type of stuff you're looking for i'm talking video games vintage toys just random collectibles today is freaking awesome let's get into the footage guys we are in jacksonville florida and i'm with jack with jack, with jack. and we are at a flea market gonna keep y'all posted but y'all know we're gonna be looking for some cool stuff a few decent ones last time i'll have to look through and see oh guys, nice he does have some video games off the bat let's see if there's anything in here we're after though nah okay Nothing else, just these right now, you yeah, said? Okay, no, well, thank you for letting us know. Yeah, it's mainly like Ninja Turtles and stuff. Yeah, if you got any old action figures, stuff like that, maybe. I guess you don't know, unless you want to dive all the way to the bottom. I just look, but... Not look at Bromson. Another tub, and we are diving with Jack. Is it going to be anything cool, or are they the Happy Meal toys? Hey, Moana. This looks like it's from Digimon, but I don't think it is. <laughs> Guys, over here, we got some Mario action. What is this? Little Mario beanie? Just seeing what you got in here. Yeah. Didn't know if it was. Yeah. How much you got on the hats and stuff in here? That one is $4. Four? Okay. I'll definitely think about it. Do you have anything else that's like gaming related? No. No. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Guys, we got some VHS tapes. That looks sick. And here we have some X Files. Oh, it's a set. Okay. I mean, that's cool. Over here, some more random randomness. Hey, we picked one of those up. Do you remember? Yeah. A long time ago. 90s, I think it's Hey, what is this? Backpack? Sometimes stuff like this can be worth oh, picking there's up. there's another one. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Hey, Muppet Babies. Oh, that looks familiar. Is that, um, I forget what he is. Is that, uh, that's not Moat. No, not Moat 2. I don't know what it is. Check that out. Guys, digging up some Batman Returns. It's a little beat up, but kind of cool. I'm going to ask him about this. And then look at this Chuck E. Cheese, like, token cup. I'd probably pick this up, too, based on the price. So I'm going to ask about both of these guys. Hopefully, we're making some deals. Guys, look at this. Just thought this was interesting. Collect. Got a monster in your pocket. Over here, look. Little X-Men comic. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Guys, little X-Men comic here. Look at these, guys. Indiana Jones Chronicles. Never see that. Pacific Rim. Oh, that's cool. Might have to look this one up. Look at what we have right here. Jurassic Park. One dollar. Look at what Jack found. Star Wars Pogs. Actual Pog logo. Dang. These would just be cool collectibles. How much you got on the Pogs? Uh, three each. Okay. Think about that for sure. I want to look at those DVDs over there. He's got some Dragon Ball Z stuff. You guys, I was just looking down in here, and I pulled this out. Look, Simpsons, Cards Illustrated. Might be picking this up. We'll have to have a look. Guys, this is why you have to dig when you come to flea markets. I just checked out this little bin. It was just chilling all over this stuff, and I came across this. The Simpsons three-ball pack. I don't know what he's asking. Very dirty, but hopefully he wants like a dollar or two. We'll find out soon. We definitely picked up some other stuff. I'll show you guys that later on. Guys, right here, it looks like we got some video games. I see Zelda down here. Oh, here. I didn't see these. Oh, yeah. I got some Sega games. I'm going to have to ask how much she's asking on these. I'd pick this one up if it's a good price. That's just like the side of it. You guys are seeing what we're seeing. Need for Speed might be a good one. I'll have to ask. Because it's just non-stop today. What is that? Twin Pack? Original soundtrack. Is that a, that's an 8-track, like right? Track, yeah. That's actually kind of cool. That is quite, yeah. And oh, we have Elvis rad. Presley. Huh. Yo, what's all in there? I thought it was G.I. Joe stuff. This is actually kind of cool. Dude, is that Ric Flair? And there's a rock. Night. Oh, man. Oh, that's Oh, there's, yep, toys. We'll look at that in a second. Dang it, dude. I don't, I wouldn't, this is cool, but. It's bulky. It's, it's so bulky. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. We got to look under here. What is that? I don't know that's little on the Like these? I have no clue. Those are. Hey, dude. Little. Wow, I thought it was Venomous at first. <laughs> this little Spider-Man. Hey, look, boards, Jack. I don't think they're ones you're after, but just kind of cool to see some. This would be probably something to dig through the bottom of. Oh, yeah, the bags. You never really know what's down in here. Guys, we have this giant bin full of games down here. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what is happening today. He said two to three bucks a piece. 
So we're gonna look through, see if there's anything in here we are after. Pretty sure this actually has a little bit of value. It's kind of beat up, but I think I've sold one of these before. Candy Factory. Uh, Call of Duty, Gears of War. Not really seeing anything I'm going after. There are good games in here, just nothing that I really want. Walk Hard. It's cool to see PSP stuff though, even if they are the movies. What we got down here? A couple of loose discs. Gran Turismo, dang. Seen better days though. Beatles Rock Band. Dave Mira. It's kind of cool. <laughs> what is this? Ringling Bros. Okay. Game Breaker. Epic Mickey. This is a really, really fun game. I already have it, so we don't need it. We'll leave it behind for someone else, but it is a fun game. G-Force, this might be fun. I don't know. I'm a sucker for stuff like this. We might pick that up. We'll see. See if they take like a buck or something for it. I don't know. All right, guys. And I'll keep looking. And guys, hiding down here, we have Shaq Fu. We don't have this, so we might pick it up. And I just wanted to show you all, there's a ton and ton of other games here. They said they were like three or four bucks each. I think they said five dollars each for the PS4 games. Jump Force for five would not be bad, but we already have it. So I don't know. We're gonna look and see real quick. And guys, Jack strikes again. Two dollars on uh, the Raphael, but he's Sting Raphael. So sick. And guys, look at over here. We've got Venom with the backwards foot action. Oh god. Oh. So sick. And look, look, look. We got Mr. Freeze probably gonna ask i'm gonna show everything at the end of the video guys we have been getting some pretty amazing deals today a lot of this stuff is very cheap though so maybe like a dollar each quarter each we're gonna find out Thank all right you. guys i don't know if i'm gonna pick this up or not but i just thought this was really cool star wars millennium falcon challenge from the 90s so it is awesome we'll see on the price might get it might pass but look at this this thing is sick here are some games don't know what we're gonna find but you'll know we're gonna look through all of them zumba a classic Madden 12, more football. Sometimes sports games can be good. I don't know what this is. We play. <laughs> is it another We Play? Let's find out. It's Madden 07, and let's just turn it sideways so there's no more suspense. And now the video is over. <laughs> just kidding. All right, nothing here, but still cool to see some games, I guess. Well, guys, there is a game right here. Warzone 2100. I would probably pick this up if it's in there. Let's see. It is in there. Gonna find out how much, how much you got on this one. Uh, what do you want for that? Like two? two? Dollars. I'll do two. Thank you. We are diving in a bin full of controllers. They said three dollars each or two for five. I'm definitely gonna get this one right here. It's in pretty nice shape. And there is another one right here as well. So this is kind of missing, but for two dollars and fifty cents, come on. Guys, I'm not kidding. We just pulled up on this bin. And it got is turts. turtle freaking heaven. And, and look, uh, look, 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 Motu, he look what we got. Got some Motu. Hey, I got that Wolvie down there. It's kind of cool. Oh, yep. The Power Rangers. Oh, man. Hey, Cable is down there. Hey, look. That's I'll drop cool. a mic. Oh, that is a cool phone. 10 each I'll get. So, yeah, they said 10 bucks each. They said if we get a few, we might work out a bundle. For 10 he is definitely... That's a good price for him. I don't know yeah. if we'll find anything else in here for them. You're not going to get it. Everything else is just stuff we already have. Yeah, it's kind of like filler stuff at this point. Still cool. No, it's still 60. Are you getting... Um, no, I already, oh, I already have him. his arm? Oh, nothing. You know, maybe, I have him. Maybe they'll, do, spend 10 on maybe they'll do two, like he's a five tomorrow, two, you know? two for 15. We got some Simpsons. We got Homer. Look, you ever seen this one, Jack? Homer and the Moo Moo. That's so <laughs> sick. I don't know if I have this one. I'm going to have to ask. We got a few down here. I don't know the prices. He said 10 each, though, on here. So... I don't, I don't know what these guys will be, but we'll find out in a second. Guys, tons and tons of games. We got Pops. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, they're all individually priced. It's kind of like a like a video game store inside of the flea market. <laughs> but we're still going to look through a little. We got some Sega stuff. We got some Xbox stuff as well. Oh, man. Tons and tons of stuff, guys. Let's see... Let's see oh dang got some ps4 hey five dollar games seven dollar games not too bad if it's a game you wanted nothing that we're particularly after that i'm seeing but still cool to see and 
The Simpsons game for 15 is actually not a bad price. If it's complete, that's a pretty good deal. We'll have to see, I don't know. And they might be able to wheel and deal on some of these prices. I don't know how much, but maybe a little bit. We'll have to, we'll have to look into that one a little bit and see. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, okay. So no manual with that one. So 15 is kind of what it goes for. Oh, here's a cool game. 10 bucks. I feel like, oh, RPG Maker. Nice. Fire Warriors. Man, that's a, that's a lot of stuff in here, guys. $10. Pretty much what I'm seeing is mostly 10. Oh, man. Ooh. There's a, well, I'm not be able to get into it. Dual Masters is kind of cool. No, sir. No. Dang. Spyro, Fatal Fury. You guys are gonna have to let me know if I'm missing anything because it looks like there's probably a lot of stuff in here that I'm gonna miss. A little overwhelmed right now. <laughs> there's just a lot to look at. But dang, I love seeing like just this many games. Guys, up here we have the Batman Bat Jet. That is really cool. And then look at over here. We got the real Ghostbusters lunchbox. I already asked, 10 bucks, which is a pretty good price, but it doesn't have the thermos, so I think I'm gonna pass. Just wanted to show y'all, thought it was pretty awesome. All right, guys, I didn't get footage of it, but we saw the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. He is very dirty, but he is from 1984. I have been after this guy for a while. We got him, and we have this vintage Ghostbusters mug. We pay, what do we pay for these jacks? Seven? I forgot, honestly, or eight. I think eight. Seven, eight probably eight bucks. I think eight bucks for both, which honestly, we were back eight. yeah, this alone is already worth that. Once we clean it up, you guys will see the difference, but yeah, eight bucks for this, great deal. He said, how much, three a piece? Yeah. We got wing nut here with the belt, that's not bad. We have Slash, he's missing things, but for three bucks, that's not bad. We got that guy, dude, th three he's is, missing his but stuff, three, but three cool is like color. the sweet spot for me when it comes yeah. to toys. Jack pulled out him from Ghostbusters Vintage. We don't have him, and we don't have Storage Shell Leo. He doesn't stand really good either, from what I remember. Yeah. I had him a lot of Storage time. Shell Leo, I think, is another one I need. So I'm going to ask see if they work out a little bundle deal for these four. But... Oh, God. There's so much stuff here. Here is everything that I just picked up from this flea market. We're going to go over it when we get back to the house, but I just want to let y'all know, I think we spent about $80 for everything. And these two right here are actually going to my brother. So we have this Simpsons three ball pack and we have this magazine. I think both of these were around like seven or maybe eight bucks for both, somewhere around there, I forget. So the rest of this stuff is the haul, but yeah, let's go. Back in the game room. It's time to look at everything that we picked up, except... I recorded the footage at the hotel, so let's go there. All right, guys, this is the haul from the flea market. Usually we are in the game room, but today we are out and about and we are at the hotel. So this is on top of the bed, guys. We have three controllers and we got them all very, very cheap. We got one right here. I think this is one of the afterglow ones, if I'm not mistaken. Same type as well over here. And then we've got this Xbox wired controller too. A little bit beat up, but not super bad. And honestly, once again, for the price, very, very cheap. So super stoked to be picking those up. Guys, Homer in the freaking Moo Moo. This guy was so cheap. We got him, we got these two, and we got this guy right here. I think we spent 20 on the four of those. This one alone, I'm pretty sure is worth around there, maybe like 15, so definitely a good deal. We got this Leonardo yo-yo. This is something I've been wanting for a while. Definitely got it for a really good price, so super stoked to be adding this to the growing TMNT collection. We got this Donatello over here. I think this might have been like either like a Happy Meal kind of toy or something. I know I have a couple of these, but I don't have this one, so super stoked to be adding this to the collection as well. And guys, the one that kind of set it all off with the turtle toys, we've got Hothead right here. And this is one you don't see too often. The price was definitely really, really good on him. And this is one I finally get to check off on the list. I don't know what he's currently going for, but definitely more than what we spent, which is always awesome. Put him over there for now, guys. We got the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. And he is from, what was the year? I forgot, 1984. Definitely got a good price on him as well. So super stoked to be adding him to the collection. I just need to clean him up a little bit. Definitely not too bad though. Once, <laughs> once we get all those stains off, he's gonna look pretty nice. Over here, we've got this awesome Ghostbusters mug. I forgot the year. Let's see if it says it on here. Usually it does at the bottom. Yeah, 1988 
Columbia Pictures. Oh, man, y'all know I am a sucker for stuff like this. This and this right here are going to sit somewhere on the shelf. He might even be holding the mug like that. I don't know. Over here, we've got another vintage Ghostbusters figure. I did not have him yet. Stoked to be adding him to the growing Ghostbusters shelf. And then, guys, we got a few more other things here. We got this Jurassic Park pencils jack actually found these he didn't want them he passed them over to me i think we act what's funny is that was the price at one point nine oh 99 cents at big lots and i'm pretty sure that's the price that we got them for i think we paid a dollar for these so these were just too cool anytime i see stuff like this i can't leave it behind speaking of jack he found this one as well passed it over to me as well he didn't want him we have Raphael, but it's also a mashup with sting who is my favorite wrestler of all time. So you have my favorite turtle from TMNT and you have my favorite wrestler from wrestling. So sick. So stoked to be adding him to the collection. Guys, a couple random pickups. We got this Venom, which I don't know what he's doing. He looks crazy. Why are his arms like that? Let's, let's fix you, buddy. Okay. <laughs> he looks worse. Anyways, he was, I think him and Mr. Freeze over here, if I'm not mistaken, I think these guys were $3 total. So, yeah, a little bit beat up, but that's okay. I want to add them with my other Venom toys I have, so I thought he was pretty cool. Got Freeze here. Y'all just saw him. Over here, we have a couple more turtle figures, $3 a piece. So we got Wingnut, which I already have, but I don't have the belt. So I thought, okay, $3 for the figure with the belt is a great deal. I'll probably sell off the one that is in worse condition, and I'll keep the belt for mine. And yeah, that's just sometimes the way to do it. Over here we have Slash. So one of the cooler figures in my opinion. He doesn't have accessories. He's a little rough, but for $3, I could not leave him behind. Couple of cool things to talk about, guys. We got this Millennium Falcon, but it's like a, like a tiger handheld game. It was a dollar. When you see stuff like this for a buck, come on now. Y'all already know. You got to pick it up. So a dollar for this. No idea if it works. No idea if it's valuable at all but it was just too cool it was a dollar definitely had to pick this up and guys out of things to flip eh, most of the stuff we're actually keeping this although i do think it is pretty cool we have this pacific rim still brand new in the package figure at the time of this video i saw these selling from anywhere from 30 upwards to about like 45 dollars. so i'm kind of thinking this one right here will definitely flip and a lot of this stuff ends up being free, essentially, after a little bit of work. So not too much, but very stoked to be picking that up for a good deal. Guys, the handhelds, the Tiger handhelds. If I see these for a good price, I'm going to pick them up. I forget how much we spent, but it was like maybe two bucks. Doesn't have the battery pack. You know, clearly it's rough, but we can get that off with some goo gone. This is just going to sit on the Batman shelf. So I'm not too worried about whether it works or not. Just thought this was super sick. Let me know if you had any of these when you were a kid. And guys, some games. Y'all know we got to pick up games. We got a PS1 game here. Warzone 2100. I don't know. I've never played this game. At one point, someone paid $20.99 sense but we did not have this one so i went ahead and picked it up looks like it might be a fun game and if not well it was cheap so next up we got a classic we have shack fu for the sega genesis come get yours y'all let me know if you've ever heard of this game y'all let me know if you've ever played this game also let me know if you like sega games in general next up we got a few ps4 game oh no two ps4 games and a psp game guys we have jump force lots and lots of anime characters fighting it out till the end very very cool and we have this random game for the psp y'all know i'm a sucker for psp games especially if they're cheap we got g-force kind of cool there and we have naruto ultimate ninja storm 4 so guys some pretty awesome stuff did not spend too too much overall considering the potential value of all this stuff is definitely higher than what we spent and like i said we're gonna sell this guy off and that's pretty much gonna cover a good chunk of everything at least which is always awesome but yeah drop some comments below guys let me know if you would have picked up anything that you just saw all right guys and jack wanted to show off his haul as well so he got some pretty good stuff from the flea market and also the thrift store you want to talk about this one first thrift store a bunch of like star wars 
Legos yep. for a dollar. Good deal. Like, yeah, awesome. Bunch of stormtroopers and just and you guys some Mandalorian. Know. Yep, those minis. Like, yeah. Keep an eye out for those. What else we got here? We got a Venom. Flea Market Venom was six dollars. Yep. Um, it's the projection ones that like had a projection feature. Super sick. So yeah, from the Toy Biz line in the nineties. Okay. Um, oh. All the vintage Ninja Turtles. Um, oh, they were cheap, dude. Yeah, three dollars each. Usagi. Tattoo wasn't. He was eight at a toy store, yeah. but I just pulled the trigger. Yeah. But Usagi, Leatherhead, and Scumbug were three bucks each. Super sick. All in like really good shape. On top of um, these guys. And then these, didn't know I was going after Rise of the <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but apparently I'm now found all these at, for like a dollar each Dude. at the flea market. I'm definitely getting drawn to these over time. So sick. What else we got? And um, five dollars for the Scorpion uh, Alien from Kenner Aliens line. That's sick. And then same line, a um, dollar because he's missing his tail and oh, the little tube back there. It's the, such a cool color. I love the way they look. And then probably the the, the, so, be, the best ones terms of value, right? Right. Like so right I mean, here. Goro, he's missing his hair. Um, so what was, was he? Always, Twelve or fifteen? He probably goes for like maybe around that on eBay. Um, got them for a dollar. That's sick. And I've always loved the way this figure looks, and I've never seen it in the wild. So Dude, found it randomly. That's a cool find. And then this one. Oh, yeah. This like, was a surprise one. I definitely love, like, grew up with the Jurassic Park line as a kid. Mm. Um, this one I got to maybe hold on to, maybe flip. I don't know. Yeah. But then I just Kinda looked decide. this thing up, and oh, yeah. it apparently goes for some listings have sold for 50 bucks so 50 will, guys and well this was what a dollar one dollar <laughs> guys this is why you go to the flea markets go to toy stores you just never know what people have usually at the bottom of boxes too right i mean shop. i don't know if they'll sell for what, that what, but right what was the feature oh the tail comes off so like the dino damage you can kind of pull it apart it's kind of a little there you go i feel like i'm breaking it so like dino damage tail comes oh, off pretty dude, cool that's sick and then uh kind of has a like a little head feature like twists on his uh, leg so <laughs> definitely like a later Jurassic Park but still from the 90s still keep an eye um, out for those vintage toys y'all <laughs> yeah cool haul though definitely sick sick stuff all right guys that's all I got for y'all today I appreciate all you guys tuning in drop some comments let me know if there's some stuff that you saw in today's video that you would have picked up maybe some stuff that you would have passed on let me know down below I love hearing from y'all and if you have not seen the last video make sure to go check that one out as well I think it's only been like three days since that video dropped, so doing a little back-to-back -back action for you guys this week. But I appreciate all of y'all. Till next time, peace.